I'm going to raise awareness to get help for people who have lymphedema just like myself and get the surgeries and the cures that we need. Megan Barnard has lived with lymphedema, a rare condition which has caused her right leg to swell for almost 10 years. After trying to hide her condition all this time, she finally feels able to show her leg in public, even posting pictures of herself in swimwear online. I've had a lot of people ask me about doing more modeling and a lot of people with lymphedema who have reached out to me that have been you know, open about who they are and doing modeling and I would love to do it more if it will raise awareness. After opening up, I mean, it's just taken this weight off my shoulders and I just feel so much better about my life and I feel happier. Today was the first time I've seen Megan's leg and I just was extremely proud of her. First of all, today was the first time I've seen Megan in a dress. She's becoming a young, strong role model for other girls that are probably in the same situation she's in and she's becoming more comfortable in who she is. But getting to this point has been a long and painful process. Megan first noticed signs of lymphedema when she was 15, although she didn't know what the condition was at the time. I saw multiple doctors to get different opinions. They had said that it may have happened during puberty and my lymph nodes didn't grow, or I could have injured it in some way and um, this is a side effect of that injury. They haven't been able to determine exactly what it was that caused it. This problem with her lymph nodes means that her leg can store up to three liters of excess fluid. And for Megan, the diagnosis was devastating. It felt like my life had ended at 15. I thought that I would never be able to do anything. I was extremely depressed. I would come home from school every day and cry and ask, why me? I had walked into the school and I was wearing my large um, foam and ace bandages. There was a student that had yelled from across the hall, I didn't know the Michelin man went to school here. Everyone was laughing at me. If it wasn't for the bullying, I would not have gone about hiding it the way that I had. We were absolutely not allowed to talk about it, ever. And even if she would bring it up and you would try to go a little bit, just dig a little bit, she wasn't having it. She was the only one who could really talk about it. It was like so hard for me to say the three words, I have lymphedema. I just couldn't do that. I only felt normal when I felt like lymphedema wasn't a part of my life. By the time Megan reached college, things weren't getting any easier, and four years ago, she reached her lowest point. I would have rather not been alive than have lymphedema. I was crying nonstop, every day, all day, and I had wrote a suicide letter to my dad and had him meet me in the parking lot and told him I was done and I was just gonna end it at that point. As her older sister, knowing she was that upset for so long, it's devastating to me. I absolutely wish she would have talked to me about it. I could and I would do anything to help her. If there was one thing I regret about the whole thing, it's keeping it a secret. I definitely have become myself by opening up about what I'm going through. Megan also opened up to her boyfriend and told him about her condition six months after they'd started dating. I never noticed it because she kept it very hidden. She was very careful. A lot of closed doors, lights off, that kind of thing. If Robbie and I were sitting next to each other on the couch watching a movie together, there would be a pillow or you know, a thick blanket in the, between the two of us so there was extra padding so you couldn't feel that my leg was hard. I was very happy when she told me about the, the condition. It wasn't really anything she was ever open with anyone other than a family. For her to tell me was very trusting. <laughs> I wasn't about to as well as wearing compression bandages, Megan has to use a pneumatic compression pump for over an hour every day. Insurance won't pay for surgery as it's deemed cosmetic, so Megan is trying to raise the $44,000 to pay for the surgery herself. There are numerous doctors that perform surgery for lymphedema patients and they are cured. They have zero signs or symptoms of lymphedema after the surgery and they are free to live their normal life. There are other patients who undergo the surgery and the outcome isn't that great for them and they still have lymphedema. In some situations it gets worse. To me, I look at surgery as being a cure. I look at it as it's a cure that's sitting right in front of me and it can change my life, but because I don't have the money or the insurance that will cover it, I can't have that. Although I may be one of the people where it gets worse, I still want it more than anything. But while she waits for surgery, at least now Megan has come to terms with her condition. I feel like I'm working my way towards finding my place in the world. For the first time, I feel like I'm finally getting closer to it. You know, I'm, I'm going back to school and I'm working full time and I'm open about my life and I'm working really hard to try and raise awareness about lymphedema.